The thing that I love most about fifth graders is that they're developmentally at a place where they're ready to think abstractly. Kids have the tools to communicate with each other, and they have the tools to think critically, but they don't always know how to access those tools. How do we work in groups? Tell me one way that we can work together in a group. I want them to understand that we are a group of people who are working together to solve problems, and all of our expertise are important. So can someone add on to what Rashad just said? Once you get that buy-in with kids in terms of their trust, they're willing to take chances and they're willing to risk being wrong. Hold on, but maybe the light is shining. I don't think so, because look at him. We were doing a lesson, and the kids are talking to each other and said, oh, we worked really well together, and they actually high-fived each other. I couldn't believe it. They were so excited to be working, you know, on the Friday afternoon. Did you see this picture down here? Now you know what that is, right? Before we were trying to figure out what that was, now we know it's plasma. It makes me feel really excited to be in a classroom with children who are interested in learning. We are going to spend this part of the uh, reading block working in centers. So you're I want them to realize that there's a world of books, and children often believe that reading is about finding correct answers. They don't really realize that reading is actually for meaning, and I tell them if they trust me, then through this year, I'm going to show them that reading is something that they are going to enjoy. I'm going to pick books that you're going to love. I'm going to pick books that are going to make you want to find more books just like that. Very good. That, that makes sense to me. That makes total sense. What else? Some of the best times are when a certain student has unlocked something inside themselves where they realize that the idea that just came out of their mouth came from them. The key to getting them to be lifelong learners is if they're going to chase after ideas in a book, then there's no limit to what they can do. Thank you.